Hi guys, Path of Gaming here, bringing another coaching session. And today we coach Ted, who's, I believe, Diamond 2, on his way into Masters. First, we'll cover early game composition possibilities. What you should buy, what you shouldn't buy, and what you should have on your bench. And basically, what the units you have on your bench enable you to do. Then, Ted lost streaks like a challenger all the way to Krugs. But unfortunately, he starts rolling all, the way, all his gold away, kind of like a gold player, which puts him in diamond. After that, I discuss with him what his strongest and best board is come around stage four. Then we focus on scouting and positioning and actually countering your opponents. And then there's more scouting and more positioning and maximizing Thresh and his pulls. Then we focus on rounding out your final composition, and we close out the video with final thoughts, takeaways, and of course, some fruitful discussion. So guys, please enjoy the video, and if you'd like to get coached by me, you'll find me on my Discord, which will be in the description. Hello guys and welcome to a coaching video. Today I'm coaching Ted and he is, oh yeah, Ted plays TFT right here. He's a diamond player and he's playing in a, I guess, easy lobby for you, right? Like an easy what? Like a relatively easy lobby for you, no? Yeah. Is it going to be this quality the whole time, or does it improve? Let's let's see. Okay, it's it's decent quality. Okay, good. So you grab grab the tier. Why do you grab the tier? Um, I'm thinking I'll probably go either. I've been playing Mystic Vanguard a lot. Or I'll try to go to Astro Snipers, probably. Just like right out of the gate, that's what I'm thinking. One of the comps I'll play is. Or Sorcerers, I guess. Yes, always, always grab the tier. That's all you should do. And here I hit a Bard really early, so I'm like, I'll, I'll immediately probably play that. Oh, wow, and try okay. try to go for a tier on second carousel. You're not getting a tier from the carousel, most likely. Unless you int for it. And... Um, it's it's a it's a minor minor thing, but you should put in more damage, so you have more time. Okay. Like right now, you'll be the last one to kill the creeps. So if there's a gray orb coming out, and like something flies out of it, you won't have enough time to decide what you want to do with it. So like okay. if if you're the last one to 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 kill everything. So I mean like here? I think you're you're pretty committed, aren't you? What is can I pause please? You're fairly committed, aren't you? To your comp now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. So then why not make make interest? Mm -hmm. Right? Five plus five is ten? Yeah. Is this three, five, ten? Yeah, I think I didn't have enough time, like you were saying, to, to well, sell everything. You, did so. ha you had like a, a second or two, but because okay. your units took too long to kill everything, you had actually less time. If you put yeah. in the, the Mortar Geyser instead, maybe it would have been faster. And also, like that's something you should keep in mind. Like, uh, I know it's, it's a lot to, to focus on, but it's like, on Treasure Trove especially, it's like, what am I keeping, what am I selling? Um, yep. I'm not saying that it's, that that you should have done that because like right now you can play the Nico and keep the and uh, buy the Ari and the Zoe and you can actually have a really strong uh, Star Guardian start. Okay. What? Yeah, honestly. There's Ari, I Zoe, uh... and you have Nico. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you buying the Darius's? 
Okay, can you lower the quality, please? Yeah. Uh, one second. You, you know how to do it, right? There's some... Do you know how to do it? Because someone did it for me, and I know you can do it on, on Twitch. Yeah, let me check quick. Because I know you want it to look nice when you stream, but then to use it, it's actually better if people can lower the quality. I don't know what's wrong with my internet, actually. Like, my internet's, like, upload or download time is really fast, but I guess my streaming is bad. I don't know. Were you able to lower the quality or not? Uh, it, it only gives me the option between auto and 1080p, so I don't know if I can lower it. Like, in your, in your Twitch settings. Like, you're the one who uploaded the video, so you... So, okay, never mind, never mind. I don't know where it is either. I got someone to do it for me. Like, somewhere in Twitch settings, you can lower the, the quality. What is this? Can you give me... Oh, no, I skipped too much. Give me one reason why you didn't buy the Aryan Zoe. Um, <laughs> do you have like a good reason why you didn't buy the Aryans over here with three gold and Aryans are in your shop? Yeah, like okay, it's very simple either you buy everything or you get to 10. Okay, so like that's like how you should think about it like, always can I hit an interest threshold or can I pick up some cool units? Mm -hmm. Cause I what I what I try to do most games is hold basically a full bench even at the cost of interest until Krugs, and then I decide. I don't know when you joined me when you joined me uh, the last game, but it's like I was still deciding between uh, yeah 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 I was deciding between Cassiopeia and between Protector Sork, right? And then you saw that I hit yeah that I hit like a, a Nico or something. Or like a two star Rakan, or Rakan. I know I hit something. I'm like, okay, so it's it's orcs. It's like keep all your options open because like right now, I don't know what your yep. options are. Like, are you actually considering space pirates? Is that something people play? I was considering that for the first uh, probably stage two. Okay. But I mean that's it's like super greedy with with bard and space pirate. Oh, that's actually perfect. Yeah. So you you'll get some you'll get gold and you'll get XP and you and you'll get yeah. carousel priority. I like yeah, it. Yeah. So, but I mean it's pretty greedy. So. And why do you think the protectors are better than the vanguards? Um. Let's see. So I had Mord and Poppy. Okay. Pop, Poppy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Oh um, shit. Okay. You know, okay. I don't know. I don't know what's stronger early on if it would be vanguard or. Or protector so uh vanguards are, are i think back in vogue to be honest okay i think that they're a bit stronger now nice so maybe you okay so you shout out to xp perfect Okay, maybe I should lower the, the speed then, or I don't know. If I put it at normal speed, maybe it'll be less choppy. Yeah, okay, it's look, looking more smooth now. Okay. So it's, it's kind of greedy that you're farming both XP and gold, but I guess you can. Mm -hmm. uh, here, I think you could just sell the Darius's and put in Poppy. I guess you're thinking about it as well, right? No, don't sell the Poppy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, oh, why, why did you sell I everything? Think. Can you tell me why you sold everything? I wanted to hit 20, but I should have I should have waited and kept probably you have kept space the Poppy to see if I could win this round and hit 20, but And you can win you can get gold with space pirates. So Yeah. That's just playing a bit too quickly. I don't know if you've been scouting. I guess you I guess at your elo you don't care about positioning, but like 
You should scout every round if you actually want to win more. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, yeah, 20 gold, two last week. I mean, this is pretty textbook. You want to keep losing, keep shitting out XP. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can I skip? Okay, I can skip. Good. Good. Wait, what? Oh, man. Okay. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, we, we completely open for it here with uh, level, f or my level four here. Okay, yeah, this is a different game, I think, but I just leave in three units. Make sure I get carousel priority. And you should, and you do, and you should out. Wow, 2 XP. And you're at 30 gold, potentially. You'll be at 40 gold after carousel because you sell the unit. Nice. Very nice. So what do you want? I guess tier, right? Yeah, I think I was going for tier it's here. Always, it's always in for tier. That's kind of... Yep, yep. And... No bad. tier, yep. Feels bad. So what do you want next? Um, let's see. I think I went. I don't remember what I went for here. You don't want the the bow for RFC? Uh, yeah, I probably could have gone RFC. Because you need you need two rods, and you already have one rod. You need a rod for Ionic and a rod for Morello. Mm hmm. But you need two bows, and uh, you're not gonna. You're more likely to drop something you haven't dropped during the first creep round on the second creep round oh you already okay you already have a bow my bad my bad my bad okay <coughs> so then it doesn't matter then it doesn't matter so you have both <laughs> cool so you can buy the oh, yeah i mean i, I could have gone for bow and gotten our no no, right no no this is better this is better definitely better um this way you might have to sell one leona but i guess that's okay yeah so you're preserving hp by putting in Caitlyn because she's more likely to kill something. Right. Yeah, if that's you idea. actually, what are you like? This always like blows my mind. What are you positioning for? You haven't started <laughs> anyone's board, and you just yeah. like shuffle units around. Mm -hmm. Like does that does that like now that I say does it make sense to you? Yeah. It does, or it does like. Does what you're doing make sense to you? Like still? No, I mean I haven't I haven't scouted anything, but so I it's mean like, I guess if I if I put Bard in the middle and I put a unit on each side of him, I know he's not gonna get get hooked or have infra infiltrators jump on him. So, so why not put Mort next to Caitlyn? Yeah, that's probably better. So like okay, so there's standard positioning where you backline everything. Or there's okay. positioning against particular players when you scout. So there's yep. two options. If you're not going to scout, at least backline everything so your Caitlyn... Because you put in the Caitlyn to kill something, right? Yep. Because, like, the way you positioned would have been better if you put Leona in over Caitlyn. Okay. Because this way, Caitlyn is semi-exposed. Like, yeah. I mean, you got lucky, but, like, he could have killed your Caitlyn right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And okay, you're way too weak, so okay. So then Leona would have been better. Okay, nice, you leveled up, but Leona would have been better overall because. Because, yeah, you're way too weak to even get the Caitlyn to ulti. But you're level 5, and you have 50 yep. gold. So props to you on that, and 72 HP. So you're still you're in a good spot. Really good spot right now. And you hit the Cassie. Okay, so this should be a first. Please tell me it's a first. <laughs> uh, I don't. It was a top four. I know that. I don't remember what place I got exactly, but. Okay, this should this should def definitely be a first. So we still haven't decided between Cassie and Astros, right? You don't have the items like you have. Death cap, and you have uh, a tear and a bow. So let's see yeah. where, where the other items take you. So 
So the positioning could have been a bit better so that your bar doesn't get killed right away. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You could have had the rod on the Cassie the whole time. Not saying it would have made much of a difference, but maybe, yeah. just maybe the Rumble could have died, but probably not. Okay, so here, right. why are you not buying everything? Yeah, it should have. Okay, first... Because I'm not even making 50, so... Like, first, it gives you more options. Mm -hmm. Second, a lot of those units are actually, like, useful units. Like, people play Rakan, people play Shackle, and this person played Zed, right? That means mm -hmm. they're not going to get them. Yep. Correct? And the third point yep. is, uh, if you buy these units from the shop, they're less likely to show up in your next shop. Right. So yeah, it's you're like, slightly increasing yeah. your chances, so... I mean, it's marginal, but why not? Like, yeah. What do you want to no, do I... if, if another Shackle shows up? Wouldn't you want, like, a Cassiopeia to show up or a Bard? Like, the odds are it's one out of 18 across i don't know how many three costs there are like 12 or 13 three costs so it's like one out of 18 times mm -hmm. one out of 13 so it's like one in 200 but why not like it doesn't cost you anything if you improve your chances by one in 200 like yeah, for free i agree like it's it's half a percent or somewhere like somewhere between half and one percent but like yeah so net, like whatever you're not having interest always buy everything mm -hmm. okay cool are you scared? You're not gonna level here, right? You're you're fine. You're not one of those people who's scared. Oh, you. I think no. you pre-level though. Why would you pre-level? You could have bought Jarvan, Nico, and Grave instead of pre-leveling, which doesn't actually do anything for you. Uh, I guess you pre-level one more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then if you get two gold, you can uh, pre-level. Oh, no, you can't. You can't pre-level. Nice. Nice. So now you have... Okay, so now you have RFC. So that kind of gives you some direction, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, so RFC, Ionic, that's very good. Maybe yeah. you get a blue buff now as well? For the trifecta? Oh, a lot of gold. Level up, level up, level up. Okay. So, uh, let's see how much time you had. First of all, okay, so you're again the, the slowest to kill everything, so I'll cut you some slack. Yep. Ah, I mean, if you moved a little, like if you moved and clicked FF fast enough, maybe. Yeah. I don't think you're even attempting to do it, were you? I no, I wasn't even thinking about it. So, but you get a way better shop, right? Yeah, yeah. So definitely. Yeah. So that's just something to keep in. Yeah. Okay. So you you didn't even think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I get really lazy on PVE rounds, so I know it's something to work on. Why are we rolling? Can you give me one reason why uh, we're rolling? You found a gin. I'm... You found a gin. You fought a fucking gin. Put the yeah. gin in. You have sniper, dark star, and like your loss streak is over. Mm -hmm. Double Syndra. What the fuck are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You had fifty gold. You were playing so well, and then you decide to throw it away. And no, you want double bard. You want double bard. Always double bard, not double. Casio, you want more more XP. So you could have gotten to level seven around the carousel if you didn't decide to end here for some reason. I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. Or like you rolled once, you found you found Jin, put the Jin in. You have Sniper Dog Star. You chill. So okay, what were you rolling for? I was thinking I could maybe hit an early cast, which I know would stabilize me for, yeah, probably to seven still. But yeah, I should have picked up the other four costs I saw in the shop, probably. Okay, the the correct play is to chill the fuck out and get to seven. Mm -hmm. 
The next correct play would have been to buy the gin and play the gin. And the last correct play would have been to play the bard over the Cassiopeia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we good? Yeah. <laughs> so you managed to, to fumble three things at once. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is that a two star mord or is it? No. Yes. It's a two star mord, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're keeping him. Okay. So good, good, good. Yep. Making the RFC. Okay, so good. You're making, make you're making RFC. items. Interesting. Interesting. So I guess you okay, you do win here with the victor. I don't think the second Casio does anything. So you could have printed more XP. Yeah. So, so you're only like uh one interest threshold off, but I think you're at 70 gold, so that's that's like a fast seven already. Okay. Right? Because now you want to put in the poppy at, and be at seven. Yeah. And you have four vanguards, two mystic, and you have like Oh fuck, bro! No, no, not. Oh, uh, why? Okay, so all of the beautiful, like, okay, you threw away thirty-six HP to get to fifty gold. Mm -hmm. And now you threw away thirty gold to put in some more units. So I would always trade thirty-six HP for fifty gold. I would not trade 36 HP for 20 gold. Mm -hmm. So, like, does it make any sense that the round before you rolled and now you leveled? Does that make any sense to you? No. Okay, good. Because, like, either... No, not in retrospect. Either, like, and, and by the way, how, how what is the correct way to play uh, Vanguard Mystic? Uh, what do you mean? Like end game, what do you want? Uh, usually four Vanguard, four Mystic, and probably Thresh with a strong bench. Okay. Usually, it was what I try to go for. So, so essentially, it's a fast nine comp, right? Yeah. Yep. So, when you're playing the comp, keep that in mind. You should be going fast nine. Yep. You should be like. You like, what it was like uh, on when three one started. You're on the right track to be a level eight by four one with fifty gold. Mm -hmm. Imagine how crazy that is. Like, I don't care about your HP. Even if you're at thirty HP, if you're four one, if you're on four one with fifty gold level eight, you roll a bit, you two star your vanguards. You're playing vanguard mystic, like four vanguard, four mystic stage four one. Yeah. You're not losing. You're, you're, yep. you're not losing HP, and then you get more then you like roll down you get gold you go nine you win the game that's yep. like that's kind of what i saw on three one i no longer see this as a free win for you so right, let's see like how, how well you execute it now oh fuck that okay oh, it hurts me so much why did you not do that on 3-1 with 50 gold? Or 40 gold? Yeah, that's what I should have done. I know, that's what I should have done. <laughs> it's like these, these small things, like... But there's like so many of them. Yep, that's why I'm here. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Don't worry, I'll put this on YouTube so you can, you can rewatch this. Hopefully, it'll make more sense to you when you watch it a few yep. more times. But I mean, like, that when, I, when I point things out, I... I I think you're at a level to like actually understand like that what you did was yeah. kind of dumb. I know. I it's harder to make these decisions in the game. Yeah, that's why you got to go into the game knowing knowing uh Mort. So yep. Yeah. So when I, I was at 50 like Yeah, question. Would sure. the correct play have just been to just sit on the 50 gold and not I mean, it, I shouldn't have leveled, right? Okay, you could have gotten on 3-2, you could have gotten to level 6 anyway. Yeah. On 3-2, you'd have been level 6, and you still would have had 50 yep. gold. 
Yep. How crazy is that? Level level six fifty gold. And then mm. uh after carousel, maybe with bar cheating out XP, you could probably go to go to seven at that point and still stay at fifty gold. Okay. And then you just pick okay, it up. So yeah. Even if, even if I'm still lost streaking here, that's okay. Oh my god, lost streaking is amazing. If you want, I can I can uh we can after this, like we'll we'll finish your session. I'll write down a note here. Uh Astro Snipers Easy first. And I'll show you how, how I lost streak to an easy first. Playing like Astro Snipers, not not uh Vanguards, but it's similar. It's mm. like, but like, we're gonna finish the session first, so we're not jumping okay. back and forth. Dude, what are you doing? Please tell me what you're doing. I think I see. I see that I'm in last place right now, and I get. Like I still get nervous even though I have sixty four HP and like who oh, gives a fuck? You are first. The game. You're you're gonna be first. Now you're gonna be top four. If you keep rolling, you will not be top four. That's yeah. Okay, so that's one thing. The only thing you care about is this number. That's the only thing you care about. This number mm -hmm. and this number. You see my do you see my cursor? Yep. So yep. this number and this number are the only two things you care about. Yep. You don't have to give a fuck about anyone else. They'll die okay. off eventually. They will die off eventually. But if you like, I guess yeah. But that is the that, that is a diamond thing. I guess it's like diamond and below. Like even people on my stream, like diamond players. I mean, master and grandmaster players are better at this. Like yes, occasionally I get an eighth because I get too low. But most of the time, if I know what I'm doing, I can I can end all the way down to 30, 30 HP. Build up a huge bank, and then then roll down, and then steamroll everybody. Okay. It's like you can either like there's uh two things you can do, econ, and then steamroll everybody, or try yep. to be strong early and like win streak, win streak, win streak. But what you're doing is like not like neither option. The option there's like two simple options: get rich. Or die trying. So it's like, yeah, that's the situation. Yeah. Get rich or die trying. So, <clears throat> yep. And now you're like slowly bleeding out. Yeah. And you're not doing anything, and yeah. You are, yeah, and there's your, like, you realize you just Nico the Cassiopeia so that you don't have to roll. Does mm -hmm. that does that make sense to you? Yeah. You Nico the Cassiopeia, therefore you don't have to roll because you're strong enough. Like yep. another thing, you're looking at you're looking at this and you're the weakest, right? Yeah. Have you looked at their boards? I I don't think I've scouted once this game. <laughs> so looking at like what you need to do is look at your board. Okay, two star mode, two star Cassie, Vanguard Mystic, Battlecast, okay. Then you click yep. you click number one or number three eight times, which will like carry you through all the boards. And you're like, oh, yep. Actually, I'm the strongest person in the lobby, so I can show the fuck out. Yep. Or I'm not, but like, you compare like you can't compare yourself based on HP without comparing board strength. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. That, but like, yeah, it doesn't make like it doesn't make sense to look at one thing without the other. Like, yes, if yep. these guys have if this guy has 100 HP and a better board, you're fucked. But that's okay. Yep. That th this is fine. He's he's gonna be first. That's okay. He's gonna be first. So then you want to be second. But, right. Like, if you look at, let's say, like, these guys in particular, and you're stronger than, let's say, half of the guys in the lobby, then you're like, okay, I'm still stronger than half of the guys in the lobby. And while I scout, I, I think you, you, you saw me scouting as well. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I don't even know what I was rolling for here, to be honest. I think you just lost the game, and it's a... It's a bottom. Like Vanguard Mystic is really strong, so it's not a bottom four. But like, if I did this in my lobby, are you? And you're still rolling. <laughs> oh my god! So you played stage two like a challenger player, and I don't know what this is like. This is like yeah. playing like a gold or platinum player. So 
I guess that, yeah, maybe gold. So stage two was challenger, stage three is gold, so overall diamond. Yeah. I hope you don't get offended, but like looking at this. Yeah, it's... no, I, I donkey rolled super hard. For, on stage but for what? Three. I don't why? Know why? But I mean, I do this occasionally as well, and then I get really mad at myself, and I, I, I remind myself never do it again. Like I donkey rolled, I donkey rolled with Dark Stars looking for a Shackle two, and he never came. Yep. And here you, oh, you got fucked on the fifty fifty. Of course, that always happens. And you're scouting a bit now. So do you want to win yeah. here? Do you want to win here or lose here? Uh, let's see, I'm on a three win streak, so I mean, ideally I'd win. Okay, so how do you make sure you win? Scout. <laughs> yes. I mean, yep. that's something more complex, but. Yeah. Uh, what can you do right now to guarantee that you win? Um, I don't know. Sell the bard, put it on Cassiopeia, buy the other bard. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right? Like, okay. Yeah. Bard? You want to be playing bard when you're losing. When you're winning, you don't want to really be playing Bard. So here, Bard yeah. works as a Mystic, so you can keep him. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, those items are Cassiopeia items. Yep. So if you sell the Bard and put them on Cassiopeia, you can actually like put her like on the back row with like a circle of bodyguards around her, or a semi-circle of bodyguards, or whatever arc yep. of bodyguards, doesn't even matter. So you put the arc of bodyguards around Cassiopeia, with blue buff, RFC, and uh, half of them royals. So there's like yep. no way you, you can lose this. Again, yep. you are, I I mean, with even without scouting, I'd say you are the strongest in the lobby because you dunk your road like that. So no matter yeah. how you position this, you're gonna win. But like, if you if you had a uh, like one star Jace, one star Mort, one and uh, yeah, one star Jace, one star Mort, and one star Cassiopeia, you still you should do that, like sell the, sell the bard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Like. <laughs> but okay. Who do you think is better off? Looking at it. I mean, he thing. is for sure. He's got fifty gold. Yeah. I'm at ten. Um. Let's see. What's his HP? I guess he's lower HP than me, but he's at what sixty, one. Yeah. So not even really. So a 3 HP no, difference, I mean, 40 gold difference. Yeah, I'd rather be in his position Good. here right now. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. So you can change that and make sure you are next game. Yeah. I mean, I do like the fact that Bard is shitting out obscene amounts of XP. <laughs> yeah. So you you did manage to flip a loss streak into a win streak, but it it wasn't worth it. Like, and the reason why it's not worth it is because if you play against um, I don't know what word to use against um, someone who is as much into inting as you. And he does the same thing you did, and you lose to him, your game is completely over. Yeah. Like right now, you're playing for a win streak. If, the, if, you, if you lose your win streak, you lost the game. So that's why, that's why I prefer sitting on 50 gold as long as I can. As you, saw me, as you saw me sit with the Sorcerer game that you watched, and I got yeah. third, I was greedy as fuck. I was so greedy. I was at 50 gold with like, I had one star units in there most of the game, like even on stage four, beginning stage five, and then I'm like, okay, stage five, I go nine, then I roll down, and then I upgrade my units. Yeah. But I was like middle of the pack, kind of weak, and I still got third. Like, yes, yep. I maybe could have played a bit better to get first, but third was decent in that lobby, so.
Yeah, for sure. So you don't want to you don't want to bet on a win streak this much. Like I'm ninety nine percent sure. Like what are you doing now? Can you? I know I had so much time. I should have scouted. I I don't know what I was doing here. I don't know if I was like tabbed out or what what I was even doing. But yeah, pretty bad. So it's uh, another thing is like if I'm, you I'm not buying. I'm sitting here just on twenty gold, just looking at the screen. So yeah, yeah. I guess you saw it from my gameplay that I'm always like scouting, always looking at something. Yeah, like... yeah. I was surprised even how early uh, you started. I think I started watching you on stage two, and you're doing it pretty aggressively. So I know definitely something I'm in the habit of doing. Okay, have you played any RTS games? StarCraft, Dota, LoL, uh, anything? Yeah, LoL. Um, I mean, I played a lot of League, but okay, you play a lot of League. This was the first, yeah, card card uh... battler game. Played, so. so I guess League works. I, I never played League. I played Dota, but like I guess it works essentially the same. Uh, if you don't know where their champions are, it's it's uh, more difficult. Yeah, right? for sure. Yep. If you had map pack and you saw where they were at all times, it would make the game easier for you, right? Yep. TFT yep. has an inbuilt map hack. Mm -hmm. Why are you not abusing it? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like that's no. like what I tell all my. Well, most of my questions is like, there's a map hack which you can use. You know exactly yeah. what units they have on the bench. You know exactly what units they have in the field. You know how much gold they have. You know what items they have. The only thing you don't know is what they have in their shop. So yeah. it's like perfect information. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and you just want to like uh, take in as much information as you can. Try to process it and chew out something good. And like yep. better players than me, when I when I when I see high challenger players, like occasionally they come to my channel and coach me. It's kind of fun. Uh, shout out to Thread if he's watching. And like they tell me like, okay, you should you should pivot to four mystic now. Like from from uh, whatever I had four snipers. Like okay, now it's four mystic. I'm like, oh okay, sure. And I I I, yep. I know like as soon as he says it, I understand why. But I just like. I realized these things after the game. I'm like, why did I not play Janna? Or why did I play Janna into, into a Mystic comp that didn't have any Vanguards? Like, so it's like, I, I, and I'm pretty sure you know most of these things when I, when I tell them to you. It's just about yeah. internalizing them and actually using them on the fly and not like in retrospect, like, oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done this. So it's like, yeah, thinking about it ahead of time, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be the play. That's going to be the play. If this happens, yeah, definitely. So it's like, if this happens, I do this. Um, tricky question. Is Poppy better or, or Leona better? What do you think? I, I don't know. I was going to ask you that. I, I guess, I mean, I know Leona, I think, can take tank more. Um, but I, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want in this composition? Um, I mean, ideally, I would get Wukong. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, right now, what do you want? You're saying that, that Leona tanks more. Yeah. Um, I think I left Leona in... You want Leona to tank, because Leona has to tank. You, you like, yeah. you answered your own question. Yeah. Um, okay, so what's the best item here? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I mean, uh... Okay. Who is the second carry of this composition? Sec like Cassie OPS carry number one, who's second and third carry? Um I guess whoever has Ionic probably That's be a second. kind of utility uh, but like actual carries. Um probably Soraka. Yes. She mm. gets put in. So why not make Shojin for Soraka? I think I did make Shodan. Okay. Eventually, or maybe not. Uh, I don't remember if I did this game or not. Before. But, I okay, that. you had you had a shroud that you can make. You could have made yeah. a shroud and a Shojin. Yep. And I think shroud is quite OP, and Shojin you could use Shojin on Victor for now, and then you can just put on Soraka once you find her. Okay, so yeah, shroud Shojin would have been better probably for sure. 
And what is something you should have changed about your board? Or actually two things, two things you should change about your board. Um, let's see. Probably move, Victor. Uh, yes, but there's a bigger issue. Um, backlining to vanguards right now. Uh, okay. Um, if you were paying attention during the PVE round, Leona did not move the whole time. Yep. So if I mean if infra if infiltrators jump to Nautilus, then Leona's gonna be stuck there waiting for Nautilus to die. Okay. So that's just something like you can you can swap uh, you can definitely swap Leona with with Cassiopeia for example. Okay. And uh, composition wise, what's something better you should be playing right now? Um, let's see. Could probably put in Nar. Fuck yeah, put in Nar. Don't you want more I XP? Think I, I think I might have. Okay. Uh, okay. My bad. My bad. Yeah. You still have eight going. I don't remember if I did or not. You still have eight seconds. Yeah. You cut Victor for Nar. You need to cut Victor for Nar. Uh, maybe, maybe I did. I don't know. No, well, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Because, uh, okay, Battlecast no longer, like, it, it's, it doesn't, on stage, yeah, stage four, it's nothing. It doesn't do anything yeah. at this point in the game. And I mean, Victor does a little bit, but, I okay, so, the reason to keep Victor is because of the damage. So, yep. you are winning, so you want to keep Victor. But mm -hmm. alternatively, you are so, so, so far ahead that you could even get away with playing Nar to get a little bit weaker, but print out more XP. Yeah. Definitely. No! Oh, oh, God. See, yeah, I know, that's so stupid. I don't know why I did that. And I lost my, my, ex my uh, interest there, too. That was really stupid. So why not take out the victor? Like, okay, now now you're making yourself a lot weaker. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I went to eight here, though. Again? To do that, so I don't know. It's no, I would have taken out the victor. That, that's it. Take out the victor and chill. Yeah. Yeah, stay at seven. Take out victor, put in R. And at some point, like, yeah, I guess now you're still shooting out XP, but... Okay, see, his comp is coming online now. Yeah. I think I lost my streak here, maybe. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, I think I did. So wouldn't have sitting at 50 just been better? Yep. I mean, I printed out 10 XP here, but yeah. No, I'd rather be at 50 still. But Nine if you if you took out the victor, you would have printed almost the same amount of XP, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so dude, 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 what the fuck is this? What are you doing? How many people are playing magic comps? How many people are playing AD comps? Uh, we we still don't know because we haven't scouted really. So, so. how can you sell? The two vanguards that are one cost. I know, I know. <laughs> yep. By the way, right now, I can tell you, most likely, if you want to win, take out Victor, take yep. out Nar, put in Leona and Poppy, and you're going to win okay. the rest of stage four. Yep. With six vanguards. It's so yeah. fucking infuriating. I hate six Vanguard players whenever I'm playing an AD comp. That's why I prefer playing AP. Yeah. Because if they're not playing Syndra or Cassiopeia or, or Timo, which not everyone is, and you, you haven't really scouted enough to know, then your six Vanguards never actually die. Right. And the reason why you don't want to have Ionic on Mort, do you know the reason for it? Um, I would think it's better on a GA holder, just whoever's going to live longest in the oh, fight. Exactly. Um, so, going... Yeah, I mean, ideally it would be on Chase, but I think I slammed it earlier on. Yeah, yeah. So, going on, uh... into the into your future games, who do you think should carry Ionic? Chase, like 99% uh, of the time. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, uh, some of that you don't slam it on Mort. 
who should car like carry it before Chase. Oh, someone I'm gonna sell. Like Leonard Poppy. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's kind of like that's one thing that really kind of pissed me off or surprised me, like concept I'm like how is it possible that all these challenger players have like the perfect items on the perfect units? Like what the fuck? And I realized, well, they build them on whoever and then they transfer them. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you get like right. perfect items on perfect units. Cause like you yeah. would build it on, on someone you can sell and then you put it on the Jace. And then your Jace has yep. perfect items, your Cassiope has perfect items. Finally, I think we drop Victor, maybe. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. Finally. That's semi interesting that you drop him here now for Soraka, but I guess Soraka even uh it's it's a it's a close call here between Soraka and Victor actually because you you do get a little bit of damage from the battle cast and he does Yeah. He does actually a lot of damage because it's percentage damage, so Yeah. But the Soraka okay, why would he shroud there? You saw in my games, like I, I, I tried to reposition almost every round to dodge the shroud. Yeah. It's not that difficult. Like, you're not doing anything anyway. So yep. it's just like, you gotta scout and reposition. So imagine if you had six vanguards here. I know. Yeah, this guy I don't think would have killed a single unit. Yeah. Did he kill a single? Maybe he didn't either. Obviously. I don't know. I think you have to count. Maybe, maybe he killed uh, like one. Three, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe one. So what, what is the best you want now? Um... See, I don't remember what items I still had open. I think a belt, because uh, I would ideally get Morella, but there's no no belts open. So okay, so then you want uh, Shojin. I don't remember what I went through here. Shojin, that's the correct play. Yep. Yeah, and I think I did go Shojin. Yeah, for oh my god, we're scouting now. Sweet. We're finally scouting. Yep. Uh, what is it? Probably twenty five minutes into the game. There we go, Shojin on Bard. So what does that mean once you have Shojin on Bard? Uh, probably sell Bard, move Shojin to Soraka, and put the other two items on Cass. Uh, you, you already have Karma on the bench. Put Karma in over fucking Nar, no? Oh, yeah. You have Shojin sure. and Luga, which means Astros yep. is actually, like, irrelevant. Okay. Yep. And there's a Teemo in your shop at the same time. So that's like double mistake. First mistake is, like, the bigger mistake is not putting the Karma. Second mistake, you could put at least a Teemo over Nar. So if Teemo you want Astro, okay, Teemo yeah. is a better Astro because you don't need a Nar, you don't need another tank. I think you, your comp has enough tanks. And, yep. and the Karma would have been better had you played her. So again, like, okay. two things. Yeah, I agree. Look what the Nar is doing. The Nar is just like walking yeah, around. He's, he's, he's just kind of doing whatever. <laughs> uh, good int here. Good int. W well done. Well done. This this was like six, <laughs> six vanguards. Six vanguards would have obliterated this. I know. This. I know. As well as the guy before. Yeah, I know. It's it's cringe rewatching this. <laughs> but it's it's good. It's good. You you realize. Yeah. I typically realize my mistakes like as I'm doing them or like two yeah. rounds after. But yeah. Scouting when everyone's dead. It's good. Oh. Um so now okay, you played two AD comps, so it's likely that you'll play an AP comp now. So maybe maybe you put in the karma. Thought I disconnected for a second. Okay. That's fine, that's um, out of your control. But now you're just Pulling around again. No scouting, yeah, nothing. Yeah, now, now it's kind of late to scout because you can't really reposition. Too late, Too late. yep. Yeah. And you, like the, the, the most fun thing is when I when I smurf, look at that shroud. Look at that beautiful shroud. Like yeah. people nobody like uh, no like nobody moves anything below like diamond. If they, if they don't want to get to master, they, they don't move anything ever. So it's like, I scout, and then I can I can snipe people without even scouting again for a few rounds. Yep. So, uh, another thing you should have open is the damage tab. It, it really helps. 
Mm -hmm. Like, so you see what kind of damage you lost to. Um, okay. Here, it's it's mixed between between physical and magical. But the fact that you don't have six vanguards or four mystics is yeah. inting again. Right? Yep. Yep. Another game that I played, I I got a crazy third or fourth with like the shittiest composition ever, and I, I rolled on three like a, uh, I rolled on seven like a complete idiot. But on eight, I put in four vanguard for mystic, and I actually won a few rounds, and I, I clutched I clutched for uh fourth or third. So mm. this is like the easiest. Oh my, yes, yes, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> can you please tell me why you're rolling now? Do you think these uh, things are going to kill you? Do I think what? Do you think these shitty things are going to kill you? Uh, no, I I'm bad at the game, so I feel like I can't roll fast enough to um to get my cop in place when I'm not on a PVE round. So okay. Um, how many turns after the PV round do you have to get your comp in place? Uh, let's see. I mean, I probably have two, two lives left, so. I'd say, I'd even say three. Three, maybe? Okay. So maybe three. So, well, if ideally, you are, ideally not three, but. If you are tanky fang, who, if you're a tanky fan, you can do this. If you're not tanky fan, you are just tanking the game again. For, yeah. that, for the fifth time. Yeah. By the way, because you were not playing the right composition for the past two rounds, you feel weak. If yep. you were playing four, four Vanguard for Mystic, like the two previous rounds, you would realize that you're actually strong enough and you, that you don't even have to worry. That you, yep. even though you, you trolled stage three and stage four, that you can still be first or second if you sit on 50 gold on 9 and slow roll a bit and find Thresh and find Urgots and Lulus and all that good shit. Okay. By the way... Yeah, here's the other thing. Yeah. I feel like when I hit sick, when I hit 9, I have to uh, I just impulsively donk, donkey roll 2 for 5 costs, so... That's... um, Like, on 9, it's like having gold is not that important, but it's like, you're still relatively healthy. You got to 9 quickly... Imagine, like, you could have been nine, like, I don't know, four or five turns ago had you had you kept all your gold. Yeah. Like, you could have put in the comp you want to put in now, three rounds ago, and been probably at the same amount of HP. Mm -hmm. And maybe even have, like, 50 gold on top of that. Because this, yeah. this is, like, a, essentially, a, a, like, a very weak lobby. Okay. How... Um, I know, like, your role is not mine. How bad at the game do you think you are? Do you think you cannot roll 20 gold effectively? Um, I don't think I did here, so... No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, you have 30 seconds. Do you think you will be unable to roll at least 20 gold or 30 gold effectively? No, I think I would be able to. Yeah, you would be able to, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? you're going some Piba bullshit. Okay. So please, at least, okay. I guess if if you don't make gold, you will sell the Nar and Leona to be at uh, at at least ten, at least some gold. Yeah, good, 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 good. Leona, Leona. Okay, great. Uh, I didn't tell it. Terrible. Okay, why was selling Bard bad uh, when you sold him? And what could you uh, have done differently? Oh, uh, I could have left in for Mystic. You could have had a, a one-star Bard sitting on your bench. Yeah. So that you could actually have for Mystic. Yeah. Because you did not hit a Lulu. You don't right. always have to hit a. You don't always hit a Lulu. Like it, it doesn't always happen. But yep. you can always have a Bard. Okay, I don't remember what I did with these items. You rolled. That's oh, you have a thresh and an ergot. Perfect. 
How did I put the threshold? Yeah, nice. And you're still rolling. Cool, cool. And you missed the bard. You missed the bard, by the way. I don't know what, yeah. you're, what you're rolling for, but you missed the bard. I would, I would say that you are rolling for a mystic, correct? I don't know what I was rolling for you're, here. You're rolling for Urgot 2, and I think you're rolling for Lulu. Yeah, that's probably what I was looking for. But it says mystic, which is the important thing here. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, for Vanguard, for mystic is the comp. Yep. Ideally, you want 2 cost, 3 cost, 4 cost Vanguards, and all the fancy mystics, and a Thresh. That's ideal. Yep. Yeah? Yep. But if, for some reason, you have a 2-star or a 3-star Poppy or Leona, or like a 2-star Poppy, and you just miss Nautilus, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. If you have a Lulu, great. If you don't have a Lulu, again, Bard, it's not that big of a deal. If you don't have 4 Mystics, you're, you're, you're screwed. So, yeah. Jana, interesting. Uh, so that should go on Soraka, not on Jana. That, okay, blue buff, okay, blue buff was there. Yeah, that should go there. RFC what? Okay. So you're going uh, a different route. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I put Battlecast bat on him, I guess, yeah. Uh, why? What's a different... I don't know. What's a different spot you I can actually utilize? Because now I have three Battlecasts, which Do doesn't... Darkstar spat could work, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, no, doesn't, no, sorry. You have Karma. You, do, you have Karma. Oh, no longer. Okay. <laughs> you had Karma, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not... I, I don't know. There's Lulu. You you had karma. I don't know what you what you want to do with the Lulu. Uh, by the way, Asol is a terrible pull. I think uh, Lulu's a much better pull. And okay. you can make a shroud, which is one of the best items in the game. So maybe maybe you consider. I, I think I did. I think I bought Thresh or uh, whatever whatever his name is. Shen bought Shen and made it. Yeah. And then just a I little bit too late. Time? Just a little bit too late. Nope. Yeah. Didn't get it off in time, so I held it. Okay, you have to sell the Asol, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's even more inting. Like, if that had been Urgot, I think the Urgot would have done a lot yeah. better than the Asol. Yeah, definitely. You should not win here. You should not win here. I think I did. <laughs> my my stack, John, I was a little bit better. Or maybe I didn't. Oh, you did. You did. Or did I? I don't know. I don't you remember did, if I did or not. But you shouldn't win here. I barely did. You should not win that, um, because he had all magic damage, yep. and you don't have four mystic. Okay, so I think I like how how can that happen? I... That that shouldn't have like that should not happen. Essentially, when you scout, you find out if people are playing more AD or more AP, or if they have a if they have a Jenna. And based on that, you decide if you need four Mystic, four Vanguard, or you can do some crazy shit like this. Mm -hmm. So your four Vanguards were quite terrible against the fact against the guy with Janna. Yeah. And four Mystic would have carried you so much more. Another thing, another thing which maybe maybe I mean you probably don't think about because I I had another guy who's who was hovering around Master and it was new to him. You need to do, whenever you can, you need to do as much damage as possible to your opponents. Okay. Because, like, that's how challenger lobbies work, or, like, how I can kind of climb most of the time if I'm not completely inting. I haven't gotten an 8th in a while. I guess maybe I have, but, like, the, 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 the way I make sure that I don't get an 8th or a 7th, I have been, like, I did get two 7s, but most of the time I try to get, like, 5th or 6th at worst. Is by being extremely aggressive when I'm like on the offensive. 
Yeah. Like right now, if you had for for uh, Mystic, you would have shat on that guy and he would have taken like ten more damage. Yeah. So the fact that you didn't like you only hit him for seven damage instead of instead of like fifteen or seventeen. It can come back to haunt you because he's going to be around. He's going to be alive. And I, I presume he's going to be fucking around as well. But, like, maybe, just maybe, he can, ha he can get something strong. And he can survive longer than you. Yep. So the best way to play, like, for second or third is to make sure that if you play the guys who are weaker than you, you punish them. You do as much damage as you can. You, get, you, you kill them as soon as possible. And that way you secure second for yourself. Okay. So that's like another byproduct if you if you're not playing your your strongest board. That like you you're making yourself. I like the, the repositioning. Great. You have a shroud now. You, you have a shroud now. Oh nice. Oh nice. You're looking at someone. Okay. Two zephyrs. What are you gonna do about the zephyrs? What are you gonna do about the zephyrs? You gonna do anything about the zephyrs? No. Okay. <laughs> Good scout. Good scout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you that you scouted the Zephyrus and did not react at all. But yeah, sorry, bro. Sorry, but like you, you do realize it's kind of ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. You scout for something, you see something, but you don't actually react. So I like I like the first part, the scouting part. The the reaction is 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 necessary afterwards. This Janna is bullshit. This Janna is bullshit. I I I I don't know. Like maybe maybe it's a new comp. Have you seen someone play it like this? Or you've come up with this yourself? Uh, I mean, I just know that Jana with attack speed items is she's gonna cast like three or four times a fight. So yeah, I mean, looking at it now, it's it's pretty pretty crazy. So fuck Cassio, it's it's Jana carry. Yeah, what did I go for here? I went for Morello, maybe. Yeah, I mean, again. Again, this guy, like, he could have that model if he wanted it. Uh, it took you a while to, to actually wander around and get it. But you got it in the end. Great. You put on the shroud at the last second, which is perfect. Proud of you there. That's something you want to do. You don't want to, like, if you don't have to have the item on preemptively, you don't have to have it on. Um, uh, do you want, like, another advanced concept that you could utilize? That you could do right yeah, now? Yeah, sure. Yep. Bench the Nautilus right now. I guarantee you, if you bench the Nautilus right now, you can shroud whoever you want, and they're not going to react, even even up to Masters. Hmm, okay. So, like, what you should be doing is benching Blitz, Zephyr, and Shroud when you can. Okay. And to bench something, you just click on W. So you just hover over oh. him, click on W, and even, like, I don't know if people scout or not, like, Diamond is when people, like, start scouting a little bit. But if you actually bench your shit, like they're not gonna find anything, which is which is like so cool. Like they yeah. scout. I, I hate it so much. Like it's like I, I'm not good enough yet. Like I saw I saw someone pick up Zephyr on the carousel. I positioned against his blitz, and then he put he put the the Zephyr on the blitz. I'm like, fuck, it's this guy who picked the Zephyr. Like I, I didn't connect the dots. Like the guy who picked up Zephyr is the guy who has blitz. So I need to like make sure he doesn't Zephyr and blitz me, which he did. So yeah, but nobody's like so, yeah. I've how do you play around Zephyrs? Because I just feel like I'm not I am not good at it at all. I don't know. Okay, so what what's it, what's what's important? What isn't important? Um. So I mean, I I guess I think you don't want your carries to get Zephyred. I mean, th th this composition. What what is important? What isn't important? Um. Well, at this point, I mean, I would definitely not want my my Janna to get Zephyred. Okay. Um, so what are the ones you want Zephyred? Probably... Uh, okay, so... If it hits Jace, will it knock him up right now or not? Nope. I don't think it will because it won't. QSS, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I, ideally I would kind of bait it with, with Jace. Um, and then... Let's see... Nautilus, for example, Soraka. Yeah, Nautilus. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Maybe even Mort. Like your Cassio is not doing that much damage. So, but but yeah. Wukong is Wukong is clutch. Like Janna, Urgot, K 
Casio and Thresh are, are your core units. Yeah. So those are the ones you don't want to get zephyred. And another thing, when you look at the damage tab, you see who did the most damage, right? So mm -hmm. you see like, okay, so Nautilus doesn't actually do anything. So if Nautilus gets zephyred, who cares? Right. And the way you can position against this is like you, you can put Jace in the back. That means you like reposition everything kind of in the back. Okay. Because the same, like you don't want Chase to be in the back when everything was in the front. Yeah. And we're rolling more. Um, <clears throat> what are actually good units to pull by Thresh? Do you do you know what units are good? Yeah. yeah um, well, I, I think Urgot. Urgot for sure is probably yeah. one of the best. Um, Soraka is generally pretty good. Yep. So why, uh, why, okay, so Urgot or Soraka, you have a Soraka, so why not? Yep. Why yeah, I should have sold a soul way, way, no, way earlier. Um, you should sell the Zaraphs here for more gold, by the way. Zaraph, like, you don't want Zaraph, um, okay, you want Zaraph pulling because there's a Janna, okay, I, I, I see that, I see yeah, that. Yeah, I think I, I tunneled on these Zaraphs, I think, and then I, I ended up swapping Thresh out for Zaraph, I think. Interesting. Okay, that can work. We're scouting. Okay. We're finally scouting. Now that we're, we're top, top four, top, top three. three. Okay, so you could have played... Um... Yeah, six Vanguards would have been great against this. Okay, so yeah. he's, he's lifting stuff. Okay. Nice! Look at that sexy, Zeph uh, sexy Shroud. Amazing Shroud. And you come to the Zephyr. That's like Perfect positioning. So here you did the best you could have done. So yep. you should be rewarded. Okay, so we pull Zara. What, what, do you, what do you need against this guy, by the way? Uh, let's see. He's, still He's a battle cast yeah. player. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I think f probably four Mystic, right? Yeah, four Mystic would shit on that as well. Yeah. And... Uh, what people who are better than me do is they actually hold vanguards and mystics on their bench. I mean, not like not now that you have thresh, it doesn't work. But like, yeah, they would just like have another mystic on their bench they could put in, or another vanguard they could put in, and so they, swap between the two. Swap right? Swap between when you play base. other opponents. But that's like, that's yeah. Like I I've above tried my to do that. And I st that's I suck way above it. my pay grade. I can't do it. When I'm top ten, I can do it. I'm I'm uh. I, I'm like somewhere around top 30, 30 right now, so yeah, still, still kind of trash. But once I get to top ten, I should be I should be doing that. Um. Okay. I think I'm still just trying to hit a two okay. cost. So or two star. Two stars are cool. Yep. So I think I swapped Thrush out. Put him in. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. I I think. Yeah. yeah fair enough. You get Dark Star. I'm get... debating for some reason. I guess I don't know. You essentially get perfect items for Zaf as well. Uh, GA is not great on Zaf, but it's better than on on your bench, right? Uh, who's the best gym yeah. holder by far in your comp? Um, maybe Urgot? Yeah, 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 100%. Because he doesn't, like, he ulties even when he's when he's dying, right? I put, I put it on Cass and she didn't even die. I don't know. I think I was trying to hold it to see if I no, could. No, 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 Urgot is, it, Urgot is the most important one here. Yeah. We're still rolling. I'm not sure what we're rolling for, but I'm I'm glad that we're rolling. Uh, I don't know. We're trying to hit Basol too. I think. For what? You're... what? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're rolling for. Okay. Um. Oh, I did something really stupid here. I think pretty soon. What? Okay, so there's there's actually, it's good. It's a mixed lobby. 
What what should you be considering? For like um, between these guys when you're playing these guys. <laughs> I don't know. You want four Vanguard for Mystic? Or you want yeah. versus this guy? You you wanna you can sell the you can sell Mort and Nautilus if you had an if you had a spare Mort and Nautilus on your bench. And yep. you would put in Lulu and uh, Karma against this guy. And against okay. other guy as well. And there's one guy who has uh, six cybers versus that guy you would want to play four four or even six um Vanguards. Yep. But Rule of thumb, just simple rule of thumb. Most of the time in the in the in the late late game, there's not. I don't know why there's a cyber guy winning the lobby because cybers are really weak right now. Most of the time, you just want you want to drop. You can even drop. Uh, it's four four with thresh, or you can even drop uh, two vanguards because like once Janna hits hits the board, yeah, vanguards are irrelevant. Yep. That's when you want like like assaults and threshes and all that good shit. Yeah. But four Mystic is much more important than four Vanguard. Okay. Like late game. Stage, stage late six game, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Stage four, like you should have been playing six Vanguard for sure, but yep. stage six. Oh, you're getting shadowed by the ASL. Cool. <sighs> yep. Yeah, I think this guy ended up winning. Was that the first guy? Maybe. No, that was uh, the second. Or was that second guy? Sorry, I can't really tell. That was the second guy. The first guy. Oh, two star echo. Okay. Two star echo. Why not? I I don't know why. I sold Jana here. That doesn't make any sense to me. I I don't know. Yeah, see, I just threw the game right here. I don't know what I was doing. You did completely throw the game here. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Your bench is trash, by the way. So there's. I know, I know. This was really stupid. Oh, it's the guy you lost to before. Oh, yeah. Actually, yep. you, you kind of lost similarly again. Yep. Was that a Jace one the whole time? Actually. No, it's Jace two. I don't know. Um, it, seemed, it seemed like a Jace one after you died. Okay. Oh no. That's kind of cool. You see, it looks like like one cost units now, like one star units. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay, so quick recap: What did you learn? Uh so let's see. I have. I wrote get get, get higher damage units early on, like in PVE rounds, so I have more time to. Kind of decided to do with my what to do with my items and and units. Essentially, don't be the last one to to kill the creeps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I uh, buy all shop when I'm not making interest. Uh huh. Just to increase chances of hitting higher cost units or units I want, I guess. Um, scouting. Just in general, it's like a huge thing I need to work on. Uh, okay, and the flip side is actually of the game. positioning based on the scouting. Yep, yep. So like, I get you, you. You you say you played League of Legends, so you kind of know what units are good against what other units, right? So it's like essentially, mm -hmm. if they have infantrators, you want infantrators to jump on a tank. So like, simple right, things like yep. that. Yep. Um, have a damage tab open. See what kind of damage. Other boards are putting out. Yeah, always useful. Um, I guess this is more early game, but I mean, I guess if I'm not scouting, either backline everything or, you know, like scout. Scouting scout is reposition optimal. According, accordingly. Yeah, scouting is optimal. If you're not scouting, then then just backline everything with in between like uh, vanguards, or in between yep. protectors, in between whatever whatever you have. Yeah. Yep, and then I wrote consider benching. 
that, that one thing you're talking about where you can you can bench like a shroud or zephyr unit and then put them in at the last minute yep to throw off but other people that are scouting so. that's after you that's like that's like the next step so like you scout you see that you want to snipe something he yeah. scouts you he doesn't see any any danger and then last second you put it you put in a zephyr and you lift yep. something that he like he has no idea that you're going to lift it because you didn't, didn't even have a zephyr at all and then out right. of nowhere boom you zephyr his shit yeah yeah okay cool Anything yeah else? well i guess specific to this to this comp but form is like a super important late game yeah you missed the most important points that's that's kind of funny <laughs> okay oh yeah i mean i guess this goes without saying but like don't donkey roll and stay at 50 gold as long as possible yeah i'm assuming that's what you're getting to yeah econ game your econ game like all the other things you're mentioning are minor like right okay. if you fix your econ game you're master that's like you fix your econ okay. game and you're master guaranteed and then you can okay. work on the other things so i would just like fix fix econ first that's like the that's like the biggest mistake and the easiest mistake or like not the easiest one to fix but like the one that needs most fixing yeah and i feel like i know i know the importance of it but it's just like in the game i just do stupid stuff discipline you know? bro it's about discipline i hate it as well like i, know, I hate yeah. it i'm like you saw me like i want i want another nico i want another i want another syndrome but i'm like no right i need to stay at 50. i can't roll more i yeah. need to stay at 50. Yeah, it like burns a hole in your pocket and you yeah. decide that you need to roll at that moment, so But then But yeah, it's super like, important. It's gambling. If you don't hit, you just waste yep. your gold. Yep, definitely. So it's like you, you should always have enough gold to get to level eight. And even level okay. nine like it's treasure trove, so level nine. But like always yep. have enough gold to level eight and then, then you kind of finalize the comp. Good. Okay. Uh so I guess that's that's it. So I will upload it for you on oh. YouTube unless you have any other questions. Um, what do you think are the strongest comps right now? Because I look at, I, I kind of look at more like statistic sites like Meta TFT and stuff like that and just look yeah. at what comps are performing the best. But I just want to see what you thought kind of some uh, of the best comps what are I, what I on do this now, match. What I do basically every game is I go for blue buff when I can. And yep. I play, I, I, like, it's my preference that I like Syndra. I don't think she's the strongest. I think yep. Cassio or Timo are the, like, Timo is the strongest, but uh, actually they requires a lot of uh, positioning and repositioning, and uh, it's, like, a higher skill cap. Yeah. And Cassio is, let's say, let's, let's say Timo is S tier. Yeah. But he's only S tier if you play him well. Otherwise, you can be yeah. A or B, A or even B tier if you fuck it up. So okay. he's somewhere between B and S based on your based on how well you play. Cassio is typically A, and Syndra yep. Syndra would probably be like A minus, like right like right below Cassio. And okay. uh, yeah, other comps. I don't know. Uh, I don't play. I don't play Jinx much. I still think Cybers are weak. What else is there? Dark Stars. Oh yeah, Dark Stars are still playable. Um, but they're really frustrating to play against four or even six vanguards. They're nearly unplayable yep. against that, unless you hit Zareth okay. or Janna. So yep, that's that's gotcha. that's about it. Any other comp you would like? To, uh, Zaya Zaya is playable on real on reroll. You can play Zaya still, and but Zaya typically also is more of a top four comp. Because, like, if someone plays four vanguards, like, you're just screwed. Like, Zaya cannot do anything against four vanguards. So, again, with Zaya, you need to get to eight, ideally to nine, to put in Janna as well. So, it's like, and that's why, like, when you think about these comps, it's like, okay, Janna is crucial in most of my AD comps. Therefore, Mystics are crucial Mystic. in the comps to, to counter her. <laughs> Yep. Right? Like Yep, definitely. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. I know. So I guess we'll we'll end the video there. Thank you for stopping okay, by, Ted. Cool. And we'll still talk. Yeah, it's super helpful.